Welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a video, actually it's going to be a series. Um, I had a lot of requests of all sorts of information after I posted yesterday the, um, you know, ransomware slash ma malware slash whatever, um, you know, fake tech support, support calls and so on. And people are asking me, well, you know, what can I do to protect myself and so on. So here goes, okay. First of all, don't ask me what antivirus you should use. I will not answer a question like that. I think all the antiviruses are okay because the simple reason is that the antivirus has uh, very little protection in reality. Uh, people think, you know, oh, I got a big gun antivirus that I pay 200 bucks a year. It's not protecting you like you think at all, okay? First of all, um, the first you know, before you get to ransomware like this, today this video is on ransomware. Remember, you're the security of your computer. And you know, I say it all the time, and people, some people, I, know, I see, get annoyed and say, "Well, yeah, this guy says it's, you know, we have to be careful." Yeah, you do. That's the reason why you get ransomware. You're not careful with your computers. So that's the first thing. Be careful. Ransomware mostly comes from email attachments. So be extremely careful with email attachments. I think they should be banned personally. Be extremely careful. If it looks weird, delete it. And that's it. Now, there could be another way that you get ransomware and we saw one with uh, the Flash Player update that fixed a flaw in Flash. Well, that flaw actually was exploited by ransomware. So people that did not update their Flash player or did not do the latest Patch Tuesday updates are possibly, um, you know what, at risk of getting ransomware without even doing nothing because when there's a flaw, the ransomware just gets through and that's it. So before you know, you get to a point where this happens. Um, this, you know, your files have been encrypted and everything. Uh, your computer has been locked. You, the FBI or whatever department is uh, checking you out. These are all false. Um, you know, this is false information. The FBI isn't. It's a form of ransomware trying to scare you into uh, paying to make sure that uh, you know they get money. It's basically that. Now, ransomware has a problem. Uh, the ones that encrypt files, um, they can, yes, encrypt files to a point that if you don't pay the person at the other end, you'll never get your files back. And uh, usually when you get the latest versions of the ransom ransomware, there's no fix for that. Don't think that there's a tool that will help you. The latest ransomware does not have a fix. The latest versions never have a fix because it's encrypted with a key that you don't have and that unless you have the key there's nothing you can do about it. So the second thing that you need to do is back up people. You know what? If you back up all the important stuff on your computer and you get ransomware Oh, it's a pain in the butt, but you'll just reinstall Windows, and that's it. You know, at least at the worst case scenario, reinstall Windows, and, you know, your files are somewhere else. Now, one thing that's very important with ransomware is that ransomware also encrypts external drives. So it means if you have an external hard drive plugged in, uh, chances are the external hard drive backup has been encrypted. That's why cloud services are interesting because they won't encrypt the cloud services files. Um, they will encrypt, you know, regular hard drive files though. So the best thing that you can do, and um, basically what I would do personally, is have a external hard drive, but I wouldn't leave it plugged in all the time. I would plug it in once a week to do the backup or, you know, once a day if it's every day that I have something to do. 
but at least since it's not plugged in all the time you have the possibility that if you get a ransomware that encrypts your files you have a backup that's not affected so you can try to remove the virus or like I said if you have a backup there's nothing you know the worst case scenario like I say is reinstall Windows I do agree it is a pain in the butt but you know it's uh, something that you uh, you can do and um, so that's one of the things in case of some types of ransomware like uh, the ones that say that your computer is locked and it didn't encrypt anything what you could do is uh, of course use if you're on Windows 7 one of the great great tools use your Windows 7 disk boot from it and go into the um, recovery option there you'll be able to run the system restore and simply restore your computer to a date before your computer has been locked by this thing and then you can do a scan with malware bytes and time malware or stuff like that um, unfortunately if you go back in time like that for um, with a restore on uh, ransomware that encrypts files your files unfortunately will be still encrypted it will not unencrypt them um, another thing that you can check for is uh, if you have been victim of ransomware one of the things you can check but the latest versions are rather good at um, really destroying everything is simply get a piece of software and uh, if you go to the uh, piriform.com website the same guys that make CCleaner uh, they also have Recuva, which is a piece of software that is free that lets you scan for deleted files on your hard drive. So basically, the idea behind many of the different uh, ransomware is that they encrypt files, but they then erase the original one. And on a hard drive, erased files are not erased they are just flagged as okay just make sure that you know this doesn't exist anymore and if you didn't use your computer a lot there's a good chance that you can re um, you know get your files back the copies that were deleted but I gotta say that this works less and less because more and more the ransomware not only encrypts files but make sure that when it's deleted it's deleted in a way that there's nothing you can do about it but it is worth a try that's for sure finally you got rid of the uh, ransomware you got rid of you know all the bad stuff but you got encrypted files then that is the thing if you were victim of an older version of the ransomware the good news is that you can use uh, either the uh, malwarebytes anti-ransomware uh, the Bit Defender Labs crypto ransomware vaccine, or the Trend Micro um, anti ransomware tool. If you've been victim of an old type of ransomware, this can probably get your files back. And if you are a victim of the latest version of ransomware, that's where any form of backup you have is important because the latest of all the ransomwares there's nothing you can do about it you know don't think that there's a magical way of you know getting back encrypted files there is none these files are so well encrypted that without the key there's nothing you can do about it so that's why you need to be proactive you need to back up your stuff make sure that you got stuff on all your files your pictures all the important things on a separate drive not connected to your computer that you update regularly if you get ransomware and your files get encrypted at least you have backups that you can use once your computer's cleaned and you won't 
have to pay hundreds of dollars to these bad guys. So what do you do if you have encrypted files from a, a very recent ransomware? You have no backup. Well, the last resort and the one that I really, really try to avoid every time you'll have to follow the instructions from the bad guys and send the money that they require to get your files back unfortunately so that's pretty much the things that you can do um, remember be careful that's the first thing that you need to do be careful um, back up everything regularly so that you make sure that you know something bad happens it doesn't matter you got copies of those important files and um, you know use cloud storage it's not a bad idea and finally if all hell breaks loose of course you can try um, you know booting either from a disk or a um, recovery tool or you know for example in Windows 8 Windows 10 you can uh, boot from a USB thumb drive or if you're on Windows 7 you boot with your uh, Windows 7 disk or you find a way to go into the uh, safe mode and have your recovery options and uh, in the recovery options you'll uh, want to uh, choose the system restore and hope that it's gonna work and hope that it's working and get back in time just before the virus appeared and clean your computer with you know malware bytes or make a, an antivirus scan and finally if you are unable to do any of that well there are these tools here that can maybe help you the malware bytes anti ransomware there's the crypto ransomware vaccine by bitdefender and also trend micros um, anti ransomware tools check that out and see if uh, you can decrypt your files if you really really have files that have disappeared so I hope this helps in understanding a little bit more on how to stay safe and uh, whatever antivirus you use yes there are some that are better than others but never 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 think that an antivirus is protecting you you gotta protect yourself because antivirus are not hundred percent safe and as a tech guy I've seen a lot of people get infected even with antiviruses so hope these information videos help and uh, that my little tips and tricks also help you um, in getting back your files or you know trying to fix your computer if uh, you have maybe a, um, a tool or maybe a um, suggestion also why not leave it in the comments below the video and let's share our knowledge together if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know give us a thumbs up if you like the videos 